Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for your great support so far. I'm indeed very grateful. In this video, we'll be discussing eight Nigerian musicians who had problems with record labels. Record labels specialize in production, distribution, and promotion of music recordings of artists. Record labels serve as a platform for artists to showcase their talent and reach a wider audience. Medi Akimayo Okun Awodumila, popularly known as Medi, was born on the 28th of December 1984. Medi is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, and dancer. He was formerly signed to R&B duo P Square's record label, Square Records. Medi took to social media after leaving Square Records in 2012, claiming he lived under unbearable conditions while signed to the Square Record label. He further reported that he lived in shared living quarters, used a television carton as a makeshift bed, and covering himself with his shirt. Jude Okoye, however, responded by saying that Square Records signed artists to give back to the society, but encountered issues when Medi wanted to become a part of P Square brand, a brand that had taken years to build. If you have watched this video to this point and you have not subscribed, please kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel. Kindly also click on the bell icon so that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. Thank you. Brimo Olawale Ibrahim Ashimi, most popularly known as Brimo, was born on the 9th of May 1986. Brimo is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, sonic artist, actor, and author. Brimo started recording music in 1999 while in secondary school. He signed a recording contract with music label Chocolate City in 2010, but was accused of breaching his contract in 2013. Brimo released his debut studio album, Brimstone, in 2007. His second studio album, The Son of a Carpenter, was released in 2012. Brimo and Chocolate City record label were at loggerheads over the allegations of contract breach. The singer left the record label in 2013, shortly after his debut album, The Son of a Carpenter, was released. He accused the record label of refusing to promote the record and ignoring him. The record label then stated that the singer had violated a five-year contract that required him to release three albums between 2011 and 2016. Run Town Douglas Jack Agu, popularly known as Run Town, was born on the 19th of August 1989. Run Town is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, and music producer. He won the African Artist of the Year in 2017 at the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. In 2014, Ron Town signed a record deal with Eric Many Entertainment, which is controlled by Prince Oku Dili Umeyora, the Melonia Chief Executive Officer of Dili Motors. After a few hit songs, their relationship went sour and matters intensified when his record label accused him of signing up for and attending events without the consent of his record label, which was seen as breach of contract. After determining that the situation was unfavorable, Ron Town attempted to cancel his contract in May 2016. He reported that he was never compensated for live concerts, recorded royalty revenue with MTN Music Plus, color ringback tunes, and many more. Ron Town also reported that the record label threatened him with death. He therefore had to leave the record label. Temi Owasa. Temi Owasa was born on the 29th of November 1996. She was known as YBNL Princess. Temi is a Nigerian alternative R&B singer. She signed a record deal with YBNL Nation in August 2015, but left the label in 2020 after having a disagreement with the label boss, Olamide. Owasa is openly lesbian and identifies as non-binary. In 2020, she dropped the first openly gay album in Nigeria. Singer Temi Owasa once said that her former record label boss, Olamide, messed her mind up, whatever that means. During a question and answer session, via her Instagram account, the singer was asked by her fan if she still keeps in touch with the white BNL boss. In response to the question, Temi alleged that although Olamide gave her a platform, he rejected all the deals and shows that she was offered and also stopped her from releasing songs. Kiss Daniel Ulua Tobiloba Daniel Anidube, popularly known as Kiss Daniel, was born on the 1st of May 1994. Kiss Daniel is a Nigerian singer and songwriter. He rose to fame in 2014 with his debut single, Woju. He signed a seven-year record deal with G World Entertainment in 2013, which was due to expire in 2020. Kiss Daniel, however, wanted to leave the record label before the expiry of his record label deal. This action caused a lot of problems between he and G World Entertainment, which included restraints and court injunctions. Kiss Daniel eventually left the record label 
following a publicized contract dispute and court case. He founded his own record label, The Flyboy Record, in November 2017. Cynthia Morgan Cynthia Iponwosa Morgan, popularly known by a previous stage name, Cynthia Morgan, now Madrina, was born on the 23rd of September 1991. Madrina is a Nigerian-born singer and songwriter. Her music is a fusion of pop, hip-hop, dancehall, and rap. Cynthia Morgan secured a recording contract with Jude Okoye's Northside Entertainment in 2013. She shot into limelight following the release of two singles titled Don't Break My Heart and Lead Me On, which received massive airplay and positive reviews from critics. Lead Me On was nominated for Best Reggae Dance Hall Single at the 2014 Hedis Awards. Nothing was heard about Cynthia after recording a few popular songs until 2020 when she returned and threw the social media space into pandemonium when she said Jude Okoye, the owner of the Northside Entertainment record label, stole everything she owned from her. The singer reviewed this during an Instagram live session. Wizkid Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun, popularly known as Wizkid, was born on the 16th of July 1990. He is a multiple award-winning Nigerian singer, songwriter, music producer, and prominent figure in the modern-day Afrobeats music scene. Wizkid is regarded as one of the biggest and most influential African artists of all time. He began recording music at the age of 11 and released a collaborative album with the Glorious Five, a group he and a couple of his church friends formed. Before launching his Starboy label, Wizkid was under Banky W's EME Records. He fell out with EME Records because of the unfavorable split he was given in his contract, where he was reportedly getting 25% of his turnover. This was at the time when Wizkid was the major artist on the label and one of the biggest acts in the country. He asked for a review of the contract, but an agreement was not reached, and as a result, he left. This later led to a social media war of words. Mubad Ilerio Luala Dimeji Aluba, popularly known as Mubad, was born on the 8th of June 1996. He was a young man from the streets who was interested in making good music. He started by posting his freestyles on social media but was noticed by Naramali, who offered him a record label deal with Malian Music, which he could not resist. Unknown to him, it was going to be a bad idea. At first, he released hit songs like Momo, Peace, Beast and Peace, Feel Good and KPK and started rising to fame until bullying and assaults started under the Malian record label. His greatest undoing was when he got fed up with the bullying and assaults and decided to leave the record label. He was beaten mercilessly the day he mentioned it to Naramali. The bullying continued when he eventually left the Malian record label in 2022. Sam Simbalogun, popularly known as Sam Larry, who is Naramali's close associate, continued to assault Mubad afterwards. The rest is history, as Mubad, however, passed away on the 12th of September 2023 under controversial circumstances. He was said to have invited an auxiliary nurse to treat him at home. He had sustained some body injuries following a fight with his childhood friend Owodun Ni Ibrahim, popularly known as Prime Boy. After receiving injections from the nurse, he convulsed, became unconscious, and subsequently passed away. The circumstances leading to his controversial demise is still under police investigation. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. I'm indeed very grateful. Please kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel. Kindly click on the bell icon so that when I post a new video, you will be the first to get notified. You can also watch any of my other videos by clicking on any of the links on the screen before they disappear. You may kindly share this video if you can. Until my next video, stay blessed.